Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about what Bahama Mamas is going to look like when the nightclub DLC is added to the game. So I'm not sure what Rockstar's plans are for Bahama Mamas, whether it's going to be a, you know, sort of public place that anyone can go to like the Vanilla Unicorn, or if it's going to be a privately owned nightclub that our players will end up owning. I'm not sure what their plans are for it, but I know they're going to make some changes to it. Now, you guys remember this photo right here? This is a beta photograph that was taken probably in 2011 or 2012 when Rockstar was first making the game. And the one big thing you're gonna notice here is there is a ton of neon on the rafters of the building, on the outline of the door frame and the windows. And if we go to Grand Theft Auto V right now, you don't actually see that. So for whatever reason, Rockstar seems to have turned it off. It looks like the nightclub is way more alive. It actually looks like it's open in that beta photograph uh, than what it looks like right now. Yes, if you go there currently, the sign, of course, is in neon. Uh, there's people standing outside, but it doesn't look as bright and as vibrant as it possibly should like if the nightclub was actually open. So take a good look at Bahama Mamas right now and you can see we are at nighttime right now when there should be a pretty vibrant crowd and it just looks kind of dull. It just looks kind of boring. Uh, again, the fact that there isn't any neon glowing on the outside. Well, take a look at this right here. Doesn't this look a lot better? This is what Bahama Mamas is going to look like when the nightclub update is added into the game. You guys can see here that the neon signs on the top are now glowing. The door frame itself has that glowing pinkish purple glow to it and the windows also have that glow around it as well. And it just makes the place feel like it's way more alive and like you should actually be invited inside. I mean, imagine if the Vanilla Unicorn Strip Club didn't have any of its lights on there. It would look rather boring. Now, because we don't know, once again, what Rockstar is going to do with Bahama Mamas, whether they're going to make it a public place that anyone can go to or a privately owned business, I'm not sure what they're, what else they're going to do to the exterior, like if they're going to have a blue corona, that little circle on the outside that gives you access to the inside, or if they're just going to make the door open, like how you can just push the door of the strip club open. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I think a lot of that is going to come down to the fact whether Rockstar want to make this a passive place or not. Like, for example, if you shoot inside the strip club, you can end up taking your guns out there and it ruins the experience and people start flooding out. Or are they going to make it a place where no one has access to their weapons and their guns and stuff like that? Again, those questions will really be answered when the update itself actually comes out. And I also think that decision that Rockstar makes is going to have an impact on the interior as well. Because if it's a publicly uh, available place that anyone can go to, then I think we're going to get the default interior that you guys can see right now. I don't think there's going to be able to have any changes to it. But if it's a privately owned business, will Rockstar allow us to change the interior, the color scheme, the lighting? maybe some of the features that we see inside. Again, I'm very anxious to get all of these answers, but we really just have to be patient because as of right now, Rockstar has not given us any official information on what the Bahama Mama's nightclub or the nightlife update itself is going to be like. But for now, this is a pretty good estimation of what this place is going to look like. Yes, it is just a simple change, but it's simple changes like this that I think are really going to make the update. Like, imagine if Rockstar added the casino into the game, but they never removed that, you know, coming soon sign. Wouldn't that be a little bit awkward? It's also like if you run across a business in real life and they don't have like an open sign on their front door or they don't have the lights on in the inside. It looks a little bit weird when you drive by and you kind of think to yourself, well, I'm not really too sure if that place is open. So I know for a fact Rockstar is going to do this. It's going to be a cool change, a simple one, albeit. But this was a change they made in the beta version of GTA 5 and for whatever reason never carried it over to the final copy of the game. And another thing you guys might be asking, well, how can Rockstar make a change like this if we go to single player, the lights will be out? Well, it's the exact same thing with Benny's Motorworks. If you go to the place where Benny's is located in single player, it's just a brick wall. But in online, it's obviously an auto shop. So again, Rockstar can make changes like that in online, and they don't really seem to care about the impact it has on single player either. But anyways, that's all the information I've got for you guys in this video today. That is what the Bahama Mama's Nightclub is going to look like in Grand Theft Auto Online in the Nightlife Update when Rockstar eventually adds that into the game. I think this is a pretty cool but small change 
again, it brings me back to sort of those Vice City, Ballad of Gay Tony vibes where we saw the bright neon on all the nightclubs and stuff like that. Let me know if you think this is a cool change, though, in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, where you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.